County woman is warning people about coyote attacks after her little dog was recently injured. Aralani Latang joins us live from Carlsbad with how people in that community are now rallying to help out. Alani. Andrew Maria, they're rallying by holding this bake sale. We're here outside the Mission Estancia Elementary School where a lot of the students who have grown to love grandma, here she is. She's a one-eyed little chihuahua. She's awake, looks like she's awake, but a lot of the kids have come around just to be with her, pet her, just like many times they had in the classroom with her. And we spoke to that owner. She's also a social emotional support teacher here who just tells us it's been a traumatic few days, but having this support from family and the kids has really just been instrumental. She is my ride or die. Um, we're together 24 hours a day for over a decade. This is Grandma, a one-eyed 13-year-old chihuahua and a classroom favorite at Mission Estancia Elementary School in Carlsbad. She's just like really calm. She doesn't bark. She doesn't really like need a whole bunch of stuff during class. Grandma is recovering after a coyote attacked her Monday night at her home in Solana Beach. Just agony, like that's what I like just seeing something so violent in front of you happening. It's like nothing you could ever witness and be okay. Her owner, Kelly Griffin, a social emotional teacher at Mission Estancia, says she went to walk a friend to her car. On the short walk back home through the condo complex, grandma ran ahead. She was facing the house and turned around to make sure I'm like right behind her. And that coyote was almost like, you're not moving, you're not afraid of me. He was about 90 feet from me at the time. I ran so fast I fell up the stairs um, and was like crawling. Griffin shouted no, no to the coyote, but the coyote had bitten grandma on her neck before running off. Right now, um, she is paralyzed completely. Um, and it was all from one bite. We're certainly sorry to hear about the, the dog over in Solana Beach. And most, most importantly, we hope the animal's okay. Andy Blue with the San Diego Humane Society Ramona Wildlife Center says coyotes are adaptable and resourceful, but go for easy prey like small animals. Blue says we can minimize the attraction in our yards, such as closing up our trash bins or not putting out water for other pets because it could attract coyotes. And if they do come around, make a lot of noise. Throw sticks onto the ground or make racket. Or if they're in your property, you can bang pots and pans if you see them out in your yard. Anything you can do to scare them. They're not used to weird sounds like that, so you want to make it as unusual for them as you can. And don't stop. If they turn, if they run 50 yards and stop and turn around and look at you, keep going. Keep making noise. After three trips to the ER, Grandma can go to the bathroom on her own. Even started eating again. Get well soon. Fighting. Um, yeah. Hope you feel better. She's like a therapy dog, so she helped us. So. She means everything to me. Um, it's amazing, like what she's brought to my career as well, like in teaching empathy and kindness and gentleness and just how to treat creatures in general. Um, I've just never been without her. These students are dedicated to selling everything at this bake sale. They've told me they started at one o'clock and they've already sold more than a thousand dollars worth of goodies and vegan cookies and just a lot of people stopping by just to even give a donation to grandma's care. This is how much the kids love grandma too. They even made stickers of her that says grandma. She's got the one eye on it. Just really a loved animal there and it's just been a part of so many uh, family members. We also want to remind you from the Humane Society that these coyotes, they can go anywhere from the desert to the coast. And just to stay safe, we have a list of tips on our website as well at fox5sandiego.com. Check that out because the coyotes are out there and they're everywhere. Reporting live in Carlsbad, I'm Alani Latang, Fox 5 News.